Okay, so this is Citizen Soldier. Okay. You've heard them before. Absolutely. Right. This might be like a third song from Citizen Soldier. I don't think about the first one. I'm and the kidding. title of this one is, hmm, I like the title already, You Are Not Your Past. Mm. Great title. Let's go. I'm loving this message already. Me too. Me too. I, like every song that we listen to with them, though, like they always have a real positive, like deep type of message to it. Like you can really get something out of this. But like the fact that they just put it over like this type of music, it is still kind of like one of those real, what is the word slips my mind, but like, you know, more of like the current rock era. What is the word for it, though? What's the word? It kind of remind me of like I don't know I don't know I don't know the name, but it kind of remind me of like similar not not necessarily like Lincoln Park, but kind of teetering in that genre as far as like sound a little just a little bit a little bit, but it's like very like it's more modern like to me. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how That's far they go back though, because I don't think they're like a real old band. I think when we look, it was like early two thousand, yeah, somewhere in two yeah. thousand something. Sounds right. Maybe last ten years or so, yeah. fifteen years. I think. Yeah. But yeah, I'm like, and even when he said you built to last, you built to last, you are not your past. Because a lot of people need to hear like songs like this Oof. because it speaks like every single word, like really, really speaks to you. And uh, especially like a lot of people that, that actually like really like live that life where they can really, really attest to like being feeling like, you know, they are their past, mm -hmm. you know, as far as like them moving on, moving on and moving forward, but they're still dealing with their past. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. Like I feel like I I can I can attest to that because I feel like for like a minute, like sometimes I it's just easy to get sucked back into it sometimes mm. because it's like you just feel so imprisoned in it. But like when you just kind of let go of it and, and really, like you said, just defend it, get off your ass and, and do something about it. Don't yeah. don't let yourself be the attachment to what that was for you versus mm -hmm. like what it is that you're trying to get to, like what you're moving forward to, basically. So, yeah, especially when you say like those scars are a reminder yeah. that you are a survivor. That's the part you got to remember. It's a reminder, not yeah. that this is like what it is. Like that's not, you ain't about that life anymore, basically. <laughs> yeah. And this song really basically. like speaks to like the epitome of like everybody, because everybody has yeah. a past. Yeah, and I so think a lot of people probably- It's, it's a very it, relatable song. Absolutely it is, absolutely. And a lot of people probably could could definitely like relate to that in a, in a lot yeah. of ways, yeah. Like every that single word, love. yeah, every single word in this song is just so, so true. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. so yeah, I, I felt that one in my core. Uh, okay, y'all. Sean came up in here, Sean G. Sean Hard hitting and straight to the point, y'all. Did y'all see that we dropped uh, No Country for Old Men today? <laughs> <laughs> was that movie like wild or what? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that was. Am I the only one that was like left Man. looking at the end like what the heck just what the heck just happened? Okay, like especially at the very end when you just kind of sitting there like you hear him walking off <laughs> after Man, everything that he had just did. You like, are you serious? That dude there. The he, bad guy got away. He was possessed. He had to have been possessed. Every, <laughs> all those times they, that he should have got taken out himself. No, really. I know, but I just kept telling old boy, I'm just like, you don't worry about the money. <laughs> yeah. the, the money is the reason why he after you. Get, just Get rid of get rid of the money. Uh, the money goes left. You go right and just leave and just leave it alone. And in the end, he would stay alive. Yeah, yeah. That was crazy. Which is that was the crazy part. It's like I so badly wanted that man. Like I never wanted somebody to die so bad in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> the movie, like yeah. he probably was the worst person. Yeah, to JB. be set free. He was set free. Yeah. Okay, he he basically walked his way out of all of the mess that he had did, and he was like, "Okay, well, next on to the next situation." Right, I was re I was reading comments where uh, <laughs> I don't remember the, the guy's name that played that that, that played the part uh, 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 of the sinister bad guy, but he said that he couldn't get a date for like two months after that because of his hairstyle. Look, I mean, are you kidding? <laughs> It was bad, wasn't it? I would never, like, if I seen the guy walking on the street, okay, from the very beginning when he killed the cop, I was like, you ain't got to tell me but once. Like, sir, that's it. I'm convinced. You, like, they uh, they couldn't have picked a better person because he looked crazy to yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> he had it. He had it. When I talk about he was the devil's son, he was like the older brother of little Nikki. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Man, come on, man. Cussed in your body, boy, I'm addicted. Insisting commitment, predicted your insane. 